Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude and I am here to review the M. Night Shyamalan film After Earth starring Jaden Smith and Will Smith. I didn't get to see After Earth in theaters. I know it really flopped in theaters. I know that it got awful reviews. It was only in my theater for about two or three weeks and it made it to my dollar theater very quick. That's not good, by the way. But I got to see it at the Dollar Theater. There are a lot of people that hate M. Night Shyamalan. I don't know if this film got bad reviews because they hated M. Night Shyamalan or if the plot didn't interest them. Like, I'm all about respecting people's opinions, but if you're gonna hate this film just because it's directed by M. Night Shyamalan, ah, uh, I don't know what to say there. I think that's just kind of ridiculous. But if you do hate this film because the plot didn't interest you and all those other things, then that's completely understandable and I respect that. And I don't hate M. Night Shyamalan. I think he's a good director. The last Airbender did suck. There's no arguments there. It was a failure. But that's really the only film from M. Night Shyamalan I could say I hated After Earth. I just came in expecting an okay film. The trailers looked okay, it looked nothing special. I came in expecting an okay film. That was it. But to be perfectly honest with you guys, I liked After Earth. I know some or a lot of you are gonna hate this film, and if you're one of those people that hated this film, I respect your opinion, and I can understand a little why. I just don't think it was nowhere near as bad as the reviews made it seem to be. Now, am I saying it's a great film? No, it does have its flaws, but overall, I thought it was an impressive film. It was actually better than I expected. It was a solid sci-fi adventure film. I'm going to go to my problems first. When the film started out, it did get a little boring. Like, I was really bored in the beginning. And I know they have to do that to develop the storyline, but honestly, the beginning just made me feel tired. I was really bored. And plus, it did get a little bit rushed at points. But then, once they started crash landing into Earth, and then once Jane Smith was going out on this search for the beacon, because that's what he needs to help his father and to get back home, was just in search of this beacon. And once that started, the movie actually got interesting for me. I was very engaged with Jaden Smith's adventure in this film, his survival. It was really interesting. Another positive a thing I have to say about this film is what Will Smith said about fear. About how fear is a choice. About how fear is something that comes to your head when you think about what happens in your future. And we know we could relate to that message. We know that we could fear of what's going to happen to us in the future because we have no idea how it's going to happen. But we just have to overcome it in life and... I thought how the movie did that message, it was it was quite impressive. I really liked how it set up that message. And people, I feel like some people are being a little bit too harsh on Jane Smith's acting, but everyone has an opinion, I can respect that. For me, I do think Jane Smith was a good actor. A few times, his acting was a bit cheesy, I will be honest there. But for the most part, I actually thought the guy acted really good. You could tell he has the acting chops that Will Smith, his father, has. But I think as his acting stands in this film, I think it was good. Will Smith, although all wooden and stiff, but that's because that's the character he was given since Will Smith did come up with the story for this film. I thought he acted well. I liked how he acted his character. There were a few times where he actually showed emotion and that was cool. So I thought Will Smith did a well done job acting here. The visual effects, I will say, are one of the flaws I had. They really look unfinished. I thought they could have been better. The visual effects overall, they were disappointing. But that doesn't really take me out of the story though. As long as the story is interesting to me, that's fine, but I just wish they did a little bit better job with the visual effects. Plus, there was a little bit of a point in the middle where I was bored a little. Not a whole lot, but just a little. I think how this film is constructed, I think how M. Night Shyamalan directed it was well done. I really did not see anything bad about this film. It was nowhere near as bad as what the review said, in my personal opinion. 
It's fine if you don't like it, but to me, I honestly thought it was a solid sci-fi adventure film. And please do not hate me for saying this, but it was actually a better sci-fi film than Oblivion. Because Oblivion felt all over the place. And yes, while it was entertaining, it just felt all over the place. While After Earth, it was just a solid story about survival and it didn't feel all over the place it was just a straightforward film that's what i liked about this film it really wasn't the completely boring film that everyone said it was me being an honest guy with movie opinions i'm gonna be honest and say i liked after earth and it gets my solid rating of three out of four stars subscribe to my channel comment your honest opinion on this film like and share this video follow me on facebook and twitter i hope you enjoyed this and don't forget that i will always have tiger power